A close call for a Southside family, a car driving erratically narrowly misses them and a nearby fence. Take a look. Neighbors tell us this is a regular occurrence, and if they don't get more patrols, they fear someone will get hurt. Ken's 5's Alicia Niaves is looking into these concerns tonight. Alicia? In the Southton Meadows subdivision, this main road here is just a straight shot through this neighborhood. There are no flashing lights, no speed bumps, no crosswalks, which neighbors say is the perfect setup for a dangerous hobby. It happens at all hours. It can be in the middle of the day. It can be at one o'clock in the morning. Street racing and burnouts waking up families even on a school night. This was yesterday at 2.30 in the morning. This neighborhood has a lot of little kids in it. It's a kind of a beginning neighborhood. On a nice day, Southton Meadows, the main road through the subdivision, is packed with people, which is why neighbors requested more sheriff's deputies on patrol. We're just not seeing it, and our concern is that somebody's going to get seriously hurt. They want to stop this. Reckless driving that's putting pedestrians in danger. It was at a fence near my house. This neighbor, who wished to remain anonymous, worked in law enforcement. Last night, that car was actually um, involved in a single car accident. She says they're trying everything to slow people down. Whether it's stop signs or it's roundabouts or whatever it is. Um, you know, we're hoping for speed bumps, but I guess you can't do that because we don't have any driveways off. Even flashing lights or a crosswalk would be a start. The next most crucial step, in her opinion, is holding drivers accountable. If BCSO does not respond and continues not to respond, how much liability do they have when someone actually gets hurt over here? In October, the HOA reached out to the county to do a traffic study looking into multi-way stops at the intersections throughout this neighborhood. That traffic study is in progress and a county spokeswoman told us today it's expected to be complete by June 30th. Meanwhile, BCSO tells us they are looking into this. They will get back to us uh, about an update as far as the number of patrols they have or are planning to have out here as soon as possible. We'll let you know when we hear back. Live on the South Side, Alicia Niaves, Ken's 5. Thank you, Alicia.